and B are independent events such that P, when you see this symbol above a letter, it means that it's not happening or not occurring. So the probability of A not happening equals 0 0.10 and the probability of B is 0 0.60. Find the probability of A and B and probability of A or B. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to figure out what is the probability of A since here it's given us the probability of A not occurring, but we need to know what is the probability of A. Okay, so in order to figure that out, we will have to use the complement rule. And the complement, oh, well, that's the wrong tool. Don't want to write with that. Let's take that away. Let's get my pencil. Okay, so the complement rule is the probability of A is A minus the probability of A not occurring for this one. So we would say 1 minus point one zero and that's going to give us point nine zero point nine zero okay so now we know what the probability of a is is point nine zero so the probability of a equals point nine zero so now we can go ahead and work our problem out and find the probability of a and b okay so the probability let's put that there okay so the probability of of a and b Okay, so we know what A is, right? Okay, and then we know what B is. So the probability of A and the probability of B. A is 0 0.90 plus the probability of B. And they gave us the probability of B, and that was 0.60. So all you do is add that up in your calculator, and you get 0.54. Okay, now the next thing we have to do is to find the probability of A or B. So we will write that down, probability of A or B. Okay, so the probability of A is 0 0.90. The probability of B is 0 0.60. And the probability of A plus uh, let's see, how can I get that? Let me see, let me erase that. Okay. Then the probability of A Let me see. and b well you really can't see that let me erase that and see if i can make this smaller so you can see it okay i'm just gonna see if i can make this a little bit smaller for you 
so you can't see it all written out. Okay, so the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B, okay? So the probability of A minus B is 0 0.50, 0 0.54, I'm sorry. Okay, and so now the thing you do is just put your numbers in your calculator and you should end up with 0 0.96. And that's how you work that problem out.